let's see, this is defined using this recurrence relation and the fact that u1 is equal to 2. k is an integer. Then we're given a relationship between u1, u2, and u3 and asked to show this quadratic is true. So for u2, I just need to set n equal to 1 in this expression. So u2 is then going to be k minus 24 over u1, so k minus 12. And then u3, I just set n equal to 2, so k minus 24 over u2, or 24 over k minus 12. Let's substitute that in to here. So 2 plus 2 times k minus 12, plus k minus 24 over k minus 12 must equal 0. And we've got to rearrange that into the form shown. So let's expand the brackets. Then simplify 3k minus 22 minus 24 over k minus 12 equals 0. And now I'm going to multiply through by k minus 12. So I'll multiply all of this together. Then minus 24 to give 0. If you prefer, you could add the 24 over k minus 12 onto both sides. You might be a bit happier then multiplying the left-hand side. But this is absolutely fine as well. Then 3k squared minus 36k minus 22k plus 22 times 11 uh, times 12 well 11 times 12 is 132 so just double it it's gonna be 264 therefore 3k squared minus 58k plus 240 is equal to zero Find the value of k, giving a reason for your answer. We've got this quadratic to solve. It's not a question where we have to show detailed reasoning, so just to speed things up, we can use the equation button in the calculator 2, 2, and type in your quadratic. This will factorize necessarily because k is going to be a whole number. So you can alternatively do that, but it's a little awkward with that 240. So we get 13 and a third, or 6. But I'm going to reject this one, because we're told right at the start of the question that k was an integer. And finally, find the value of u3. We've just shown that it's 6, so that k is 6, so u3 is going to be 6 minus 24 over 6 minus 12. That's minus 2, so it's 6 minus 24 over, sorry, did I say minus 2? I meant minus 6. So 6 plus 4, which is going to give us an answer of 10. Great.